Hey Pisces, welcome to your bi-weekly reading. This is going to be your forecast over the next couple weeks. We are looking at your past, present, and future. Hope you guys are all doing well. And thanks for joining me. Uh, this is the good, the bad, and the tarot. Guys, we're finishing up this series with bi-weekly readings. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all the signs before I leave on my trip. But hopefully, uh, hopefully I can. Let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> Because it's going very slowly this week. Um, for your reading today, we are using the Modern Witch Tarot deck here by Elisa Sterling. I'll also be pulling... Um, what else? Oh. If I need some further clarification, I'll be using the After Tarot deck here. Okay. Um, I haven't actually needed to use that deck uh, just because haven't needed to use it but sometimes I do uh, and then also the Rumi Oracle okay so we're looking at your past present future uh, Pisces you can watch this reading if you are a Pisces Sun Pisces moon Pisces rising Pisces on the house cusp if you have your Sun in the 12th house or Venus and Pisces you can watch this reading show me Pisces past present future Show me Pisces past, present, and future things. Well, that was messy. <laughs> starting to really not like this deck <laughs> just because it's so hard to shuffle the cards are just I think they made the card stock very sturdy but I for the purposes of shuffling the way that I do it's it's a little bit ridiculous you know maybe for oracle cards but not for playing cards or not for uh, tarot cards just an opinion Let's do three more here. Show me Pisces, past, present, and future. All Pisces that may be watching. Two more here. I was going to do this reading live today, but I just didn't, it just didn't work out like that. So maybe the, maybe another sign will. Cards don't want to mix here, guys. There could be someone you're not getting along with right now. All right. Very difficult. I really do not like shuffling these cards. All right. A few more here. <clears throat> Show me Pisces past, present, and future. Ooh. The Seven of Swords flipped out, guys. Cheating, lying, stealing, deception, doing stuff under the radar. All right, your cards are coming out, so that's that means it's time. Just tell me when to stop shuffling. All right, it's getting a little ridiculous, so we're going to stop there. I did see the Empress. I saw the Knight of Wands, and I saw the Four of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libran. I also saw Aquarius. You have Capricorn. I definitely see a fire sign as well, but the fire sign could be holding back with you. If it's a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, they may be holding back with you. A lot of waiting around here in your past. I definitely see you being patient. Okay. Someone here could be out of work or is not focused. Yeah, there's that fire sign. I saw him. You have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Let me go ahead and clarify this card. Ah, there's the sneaky one. If you're dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius, 
<laughs> well, they could be, they might just be uh, being strategic. They don't necessarily have to be doing anything wrong here, but let's see. Okay, some of you are, are not feeling well. I was getting, uh, someone here could be ill. Yeah. A lot of mental anguish, worries. There's the Four of Pentacles I saw with the Four of Cups reversed. Someone here could have like the flu. Hopefully it's not the, the C word. Hopefully no one has tickets here. No, tickets. See an air sign coming up in your reading. Let's put down a few more cards and then call it a day. Okay, there you are. Oh, I see you want to talk to someone now. Mm, I don't know if they want to talk to you if it's an earth sign. All right, we'll get to that. Ooh, ugh. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius, something here is not going in the right direction. Okay, do not push your luck at this time, especially if it's concerning a relationship with a Gemini. Also, someone here may have broken up with their soulmate. Oh, there's that Empress. This could be you, Pisces. You're not feeling so good about a breakup. Things are not going your way. Are you feeling unloved? I see a lot of uh, waiting around in your past here. With the Seven of Pentacles and Temperance. Some of you, some of you are waiting on a Sagittarius. I don't see things working out with them, though. Also, someone here may not have been focused on their work or might have been out of work. I'm also seeing Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I see, I see someone here trying to be patient, waiting, but I'm seeing someone here is not putting the work into something or someone is no longer has romantic feelings or is not paying attention. If you're dealing with a fire sign, they're holding back with you. And I think that they're, um, well, I wanted to say cheating, but they could be involved with someone else here. Either that or that's their strategy. I'm not really sure if you're dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. My microphone is broken. In your current situation, I definitely see you taking a break. Someone here... Uh, may have um, headaches or stomach aches or something. I'm seeing uh, bad rest. I'm also seeing a lot of mental issues, worry, anxiety. Whatever this is, it's compounding. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups reversed. All right, so you're really not opening up very much. Some of you are trying to save your money. I also see someone here that lives out in the suburbs. This could be someone that lives um, outside of the city limits or in the suburbs. I'm getting some of the same cards I got in the Aries reading. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Or some of you have Aries in your chart. I'm seeing some restlessness here as well. Someone is definitely looking for a sign from the universe. Like, are you still alive? Are you still interested? 
that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. We have the um, going into your future. You have the six of pentacles in reverse with the page of swords reversed with the nine of cups reversed, the two of pentacles in the tower in reverse. So avoiding a tower situation. I'm seeing someone here is um, withholding affection. Also, this the six of pentacles in reverse could be issues with uh, power, charity, or loans. In other words, someone could be in debt here or someone is not feeling very giving. I'm also seeing someone here spying while being very uh, envious or very unhappy. If you're dealing with a Gemini, um, they are watching a Virgo juggle. I'm also seeing um, an air sign here, or this is you. Yeah, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm seeing someone watch someone struggle or juggle. Is it juggle or struggle? It could be juggling. But you do have the tower in reverse, so something here wants to come down. Something here wants to come crashing down here. It seems like you also have Scorpio coming up here. I was also hearing someone is watching someone struggle. Definitely getting someone is spying on someone here. I'm also getting someone is jealous of someone, someone who is able to balance. Someone here is balancing. Maybe they have two jobs or two people they're seeing. I'm not really sure. You have the seven of wands in the future with the magician and the page of cups. If you're dealing with a Leo, they may have blocked you on social media or they may have blocked you, period, or they're being very defensive. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, or Sagittarius, they want to make something happen with you. I see you sending a, a love message here. It seems like it's just a, a just a, like a hello or what's up or something like that. I feel like you could be sending a message to an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. They may ignore your message to get back with you, to get even with you. I also see that this person this Virgo Taurus Capricorn, probably a Virgo, they cannot walk away from you. They're having trouble. <clears throat> Some of you are proposing something to a Libra. This could be with regards to work. If you're trying to involve yourself in a third party situation or if someone else is, I don't see that working out. This could also be a work situation where people are not getting along. If you're dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, they are really not happy with you and they're moving on. Okay. Pisces. Uh, tough, I want to say tough, <laughs> tough nuts, tough love. Here, tough love in the uh, love department. Um, you guys have to excuse me because I have, I have planets in my in my sixth house right now that are kind of weird, like Neptune and Mercury and Pisces. So I think Neptune and Mercury are conjunct this week. And so it's making me a little bit loopy. <laughs> uh, that's the best way I can describe the feeling, but uh, let's go ahead and pull 
a roomy, a roomy oracle. I'm going to go ahead and look up that transit because I feel like it's hitting me right now pretty badly. And I've been drinking water and eating healthily and stuff. And just nothing seems to help. So the best thing to do is to just go for a walk, get some fresh air, clear your head. And so should you. What is your advice for Pisces? I don't know about this reading, guys. Some of you guys are just um, healing from something right now. Take your time to heal and rest from whatever this is. Some of you are out of work. I see someone here who is not working or is having trouble focusing on their work. All right, you have Blood Angel. Interesting. Could be something going on with your blood. Some of you are anemic. I have like um, blood issue, issues with your blood. Blood angel. I don't think I've ever gotten this card in this deck. That's so interesting. It's a seven, so that's a divine number. So there's a little poem at the beginning. I'll read it to you and then we will maybe get into some more of the message here. It says, in the midst of the darkness, a moon appeared with its brilliance. Stepping down from the clouds, it glanced at me like a falcon. It hunts a bird and steals it away. It captured me and flew back to infinite space. As I looked for, my, as I looked for myself, I could not find me, for my body had become all soul in the tenderness of love. The nine spheres of heaven dissolved in that moon as the ship of my existence drowned in the sea of love. Rumi. Do you dare place a limit on how much life you can contain? I pour of myself into your heart and invite you to become nothing and everything with me. Let us be the sunrise that greets the new day and the sunset that honors the dying of the day in radiant glory. Let us be the angel of light arising from darkness and the, uh, and the starburst in the awakening heart of a human. Beloved, be the moon at the back of my heart and the sun at the front of my heart. Be wordless and wise. Let us have nothing that we know for certain and be content. Let us be all and let us be nothing. Let us be. So in other words, there's no need to put a label on something here. And also there's something going on with the sun and the moon. So someone that you're thinking about there's you guys have like maybe you have sun moon conjunct or you could have um someone here could have a pisces moon and someone has a pisces sun i'm definitely picking up libra we have sagittarius aquarius capricorn scorpio cancer we've got gemini leo Taurus, you have a lot of signs in your reading. The Oracle of the Blood Angel comes to you with a particular message. You are being given the gift of more life. You may experience this as growth, expansion, more energy, more life force, or divine electricity circulating through your system. The Blood Angel understands that in the gift of greater life, which enables the soul to live more of its essence, becoming a more palpable divine presence upon this earth, there are many unavoidable experiences. 
One of these is that there will be more sunsets to counter the increase in your sunrises. Hmm. This is about balance. When opening up to receive more, one needs to empty out what has been to allow for a new influx of energy. It is not about an exchange of equal measure, for you will receive according to the great generosity of life itself. And thus, even more shall be offered in compensation for what you are willing to release. However, release must take place. Balance is the natural law. The sunset makes way for a time of night, but that might be the darkness of grief or the stirring of unknown places within that only that only reveal themselves in clarity the following morning. Being ready to endure the sunset and the night to become ready to receive the sunrise, and with it more life, is your divine task now. Why is this coming to you? You are ready for it. You have outgrown what has been, and it cannot satisfy your soul anymore. A part of you, your mind perhaps, may question whether or not you really want the change inherent in this oracle, divine gift or not. You may prefer that things remain the same, but what are you really wanting in that belief? Happiness? A sense of safety and security? Love? Remember that in any divine gift, no matter whether it seems to come at first through an obvious bestowal of grace, such as a wish coming true or a prayer being answered or through a hidden grace of a loss or ending in our lives, there's always an offering of greater life within it. The blood angel tells you to not make yourself too small for what is happening in your soul and life now by holding on to what you know or holding on when it is better to let go. It may not be easy, but you will gain more trust in the divine in you, in life, and great power and heavenly play can and will flow through your soul into the world. The blood angel invites you to accept the genius of life and allow it to flow through you, circulating your divine light even more abundantly into the world around you. You are being blessed with well-being and vitality. If you have perhaps become tired or, well, or are well but seek to engage in new projects or practices, that will stretch or challenge you. So the blood angel brings you the blessing of whatever energy is required to expand into life, into where life is leading you. Interesting. It says if you have been struggling with your energy levels or with emotional or psychological changes, more so than usual, perhaps, than you are asked to complete the sacred honoring ritual for the cloak of the Christ Oracle after you have completed the ritual for the blood angel. The reason for that is that your energy, as you are going through growth and opening, can become unstable for a time, more porous or vulnerable than usual. This is nothing to be concerned about, but you will benefit from more spiritual protection during this time. Okay, these rituals will assist you in gaining additional spiritual protection. If you need to take any particular action to bring yourself healing and wellness, these rituals will help you become conscious of and ready for that action, simply through life experiences and internal wisdom. If you are interested, um, I do know the Cloak of Christ ritual. Um, we can talk about that, or you can set up a reading time with me and I can help you with uh, if you need, if you feel like you need extra protection at this time, some of you are um, really going through it at night. I also feel like this is a post breakup or postpartum situation, uh, or it could be with anything that you've released recently released. Um, I feel like the as the energy is leaving your body, as you're being drained of that past experience, that past person, that past relationship. Um, it's leaving an opening, right? And so that actually needs to heal. And also, so you can fill yourself up with more light, okay? 
I feel like this is a regeneration as well happening at a cellular level, even within your blood. So I think it's important to take care of yourself from a nutrition standpoint as well, along with the spiritual protection. So Pisces, uh, interesting message. Um, I really feel like you guys are, whew, it's a dense, it's a dense reading. Okay. Um, there could be health stuff going on for you. Just know that this is tied in with what, what's going on for you spiritually as well, emotionally, physically. It's all tied together, my dear, my loved ones. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this message. Take good care of yourselves. And if you would like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, I believe my schedule is open uh, for the next day or so. Uh, I'll be here th through Thursday. And then I'm going to be gone for a couple of, I'll be gone for a while. But uh, my personal readings will probably resume sometime again next week then. So take good care of yourselves. I'll see you guys back soon. Bye.